My name's Harrison and I live in a skip. This is the main living area, as it were. This is my hob where I cook. I've got my pots and pans under here. Very small one pot meals for the next year. Food storage, fridge, got some nice little plants here. And then beds up the top, which is kind of cozy. Filled the place with artwork from friends and family, which is nice. The project is obviously my home, but it's also a statement in response to the rising cost of living and the crazy rent prices that are you know, affecting thousands of people all over the country. And so this project was a way in which I could find a, almost like a little loophole that would give me a space to live for less money in a very great location um, and equally make a statement at the same time. Obviously, this is the entrance, so a little bit awkward getting in and out every day, but once you get the hang of it, it's, it's actually not too bad. And then beds all up the top, up the ladder, and that is all my storage down the sides, so all my clothes, my tools, um, jumpers, and then, yeah, all the beddings up there. I came back to London a few months ago. I'd been doing some work overseas and I started the dreaded hunt of looking for a room. As is the case with thousands of people, it was almost impossible to find somewhere that was in my budget that fitted a kind of a decent location, my criteria. Um, and even if I found somewhere, you know, there'd be a hundred people looking for the exact same room and without putting a deposit down, within five minutes, it'd be gone. So you end up spending all of your evenings, all of your spare time, hunting for a room, just to be let down time and time again. And you know, I've got neighbors here that have lived here their whole lives, and their kids are now grown up in this area. They've got jobs here, they're moving out, and they're having to move way out to the, you know, the outskirts of the city, even though this is where they're based, this is where they've grown up and spent the last 20 years and the price is just, you know, unaffordable. And so the cost was about £4,000 all in. So that's all the materials, most of the furnishings. And then my only outgoing cost now that it's here is the a nominal rate for the actual skip itself, which is £50 a month. For that to be possible, obviously I've got a lot of help. I mentioned before the site. This is provided by a arts, cha arts charity called Anti Pavilion, who have access to this plot of land. Um, even the port company has provided that for free and therefore, hence this project isn't necessarily scalable um, but more of an art project itself. So you're only paying about £600 a year in outgoing rent? Yes, exactly. So inside the skip I have a little... This is my water, which <laughs> I, uh, I refill from a hose that runs from the neighbour's property and then as of today actually I will have electricity coming in that will mean I can cook in here I'll have a heater all the, the I'll have to charge everything etc and then showering I do at work or at the gym are you single at the moment uh, yes <laughs> what, what, what do you think any potential partner would make of this I think yeah it's a good question I think the reactions I get are 50 50 on whether people want to come and check it out and stay over. I think most people want to come and check it out. Whether people would want to stay over is a different kind of question. I think the shower, the toilet would be a big factor. Um, they're the big, one of the biggest compromises of living in a skip. And then how long are you intending to stay? So I'll be living in the skip itself for hopefully a year, maybe longer. Um, this site it could be the case that I move this to other locations around London if opportunities arise. But yeah, I want to do definitely a good chunk of time, see it through. Yeah, and do you think you'll hack it? Yes, I think so. I've kind of picked the worst time of year to build it and then move in. Um, so I've, had, I've experienced all the cold in here and I've experienced it without electricity yet as well, which means hopefully as we get closer to spring, it gets a little bit more comfortable the garden starts to become a little bit more useful. And then my other worry then would be the other extreme of middle of summer, just how hot it might get inside here. So that will be a different, different kind of challenge. Um, but I think I should be able to hack it here. Yeah.
but the purpose of this project is to push a bit more creative thinking around, around housing and how it can be done. The way in which social housing has been done and is moved, moving forward over the years has become much more of a tick box, a tick box exercise for developers rather than something that people or organisations or government really truly believe in and want to put their time in and put, want to put their money in and so therefore it's become something which just has to be kind of done on the side and then therefore it's never you know fully integrated or done to a high standard or the time and effort isn't really put into it um, and so you know this is just trying to push people to really think a little bit more about that 